Hi everybody, uh, this is number 29, uh, this is a little bit different, uh, what I'm going to do is put, uh, put this chrome over the lettering, and the reason why I do that is because if you put the chrome over the lettering before you paint it, you can remove it afterwards, after it's all painted. You could just use water or it all depends on, on the paint. And this is bare metal foil. And what it is, it, it it's bare metal foil on this end and a sticky on the other end. So what you do is you measure the badge. Well, that one, uh, this one I'm just going to leave because it seems like, yeah, that's, that's not the one I have to do. Okay. Okay, like, uh, I don't know. Uh. I'll just show you roughly what I do. What you do is you measure the badge. Here's the badge right here. I, I don't know if you can see that. But you gotta put a, a new number 11 blade. Make sure it's, you know, freshly blade, fresh blade. You measure. Okay, one and a half. You make sure that uh, you see some wrinkles in here. Make sure that wrinkle is not in what you're you're trying to uh, put on the side of the bike. What was it one and a half? Oh, I gotta measure again. Measure twice, cut once. Yeah, it's one and a half. Okay. And what you gotta be very careful when you do working with this stuff. And then what you do is you peel it back a little bit. I'll get a start anyways. And then what you do is you get a pair of tweezers and you pull it. No, that didn't work. Let's wait. Like that. You just put it over the lettering. Like that. And I'll show you. Then you got a, a Q tip. <laughs> like this. Q tip. You burn it, burnish it in.
and try to burnish it as well, as best as you can. And then uh, get a toothpick. Need a little little piece left. Uh, left. Got to do that. So just cut a little piece off. Well, here's here's a small piece right here. There we go. And try and try not to exceed the lettering because what happens is uh, Try not to exceed the lettering because what happens is it's going to show up through through the paint so And you get to overlap them, uh, it, it doesn't do any harm. Okay. And then you get the knife, but you make sure that you don't uh, go too far. That's why I got the magnifying light, because it does help. It's tedious work, but it's worth it. Now, once you do that, you take, you get most of the, uh, out of the way, you just burn this again. See? So that way when you paint it, you're not going to see the outline of it. I hope, I hope somebody learned something from this. Okay, now, now for the other side. Put this lifts up one piece. Yep, it is. Okay, now the other side. I'll show you one once I'm done. Like I look at it this way, you know, it doesn't matter if one person learns. As long as somebody learns something from this, you know, it it benefits me because it's it's very time consuming. You don't want to push too hard on the paint because then uh, you can screw everything up. 
And you just pick at it till you got what you cut off away. Make sure you take it off too. Just get a toothpick. Make sure it's sharp. And just go over the lettering. Okay. Oh. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. You roughly can see it, like if I go like that, you can see it, Kawasaki. Okay, that's that part. Now, this part. And this is a uh, ninja. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this or not, but it's for Brooklyn, so I want to. I want to do the best I can for her. She's a great supporter and a great, per, great person overall. So. I think this this stuff is getting old. That's probably what's happening. No, I think I'm just gonna paint that silver. But anyways, you get the idea. Anyways, it's uh, this is the company here, right here. Paramel foil. That's what that sheet is they come in uh, aluminum uh, chrome uh, silver and all sorts of stuff so anyways that's it for now uh, don't forget if you want if you want to learn more about airbrushing and things of that nature you got to be a member that's the only way you're gonna have access to it that's it for now and we'll talk to you all later bye for now